Satnam, welcome to Camilla Yoga. Today we'll practice a yoga set that will help center, balance and strengthen your navel center. A strong navel center gives you boundless energy and the ability to transform yourself at will. To begin our practice of Kundalini Yoga, we tune in with Om Namo Gurudev Namo. This is a mantra to invoke the divine wisdom within us. Close your eyes, spine straight, sit comfortably, relax your shoulders, hands in prayer mudra, press your right palm into your left palm, feel the connection at your heart center, your eyes rolled inward to focus at the third eye, at the center of the eyebrows, set your focus now and let's tune in, Om Namo Gurudev Namo, vibrate this mantra throughout your entire being, inhale to tune in, Om Namo Gurudev Namo Inhale Om Namo Gurudev Namo Inhale Om Namo Take a deep breath in and suspend this breath as you set your intent for your practice, for your day. Set your highest intention for transformation, for boundless energy. Exhale. Relax your hands to your knees. Let's do the yoga set. Come lying down flat on your back. Your spine is relaxed on your back. Close your eyes. Place your hands underneath your buttocks, your palms facing down. Your lower back is flat. Inhale and lift your left leg up to 90 degrees and exhale down. Inhale and lift your right leg up to 90 degrees and then exhale down. Alternate leg lifts, inhaling up, exhaling down you're breathing from your navel your breath is through your nose as you inhale focus on your navel to lift your leg up to 90 degrees keep your knees straight point your toes and then exhaling down focus on your navel point this is a kriya a yoga set to activate your navel center this is the center of strength and power keep going breathe powerfully from your navel activate that core your deep abdominal muscles to complete this exercise, take a deep breath in and stretch both your legs up to 90 degrees. Hold the breath, apply root lock, squeeze your rectum, sex organ and navel. Lock the energy at the base of the spine, pull the navel, hold the breath. As you exhale, hug your knees into your chest and then relax your legs out onto the mat, preparing yourself for the next exercise, a cross crawl. Inhale your right knee up to your chest as you inhale at the same time your left arm up over your head and then exhale down flat onto the mat. Inhale your left knee up to your chest and your right arm up above your head. Alternate hand with alternate knee and then exhale flat onto the mat and continue this keep going it's a cross crawl it's a brain synchronization you're integrating the brain inhale stretch lift up exhale down opposite hand to opposite knee keep going with the breath inhale lift exhale relax down your breath is from your navel with every exercise in this yoga set focus on your navel breathing deep to complete this exercise on your next exhale relax let it go, stay within, your eyes closed, breathe through your nose, let the energy circulate throughout your body. Hug your knees into your chest, draw your nose up to your knees and rock and roll on your spine, roll yourself up and come to stand 
and then fold into triangle pose. Place your hands on your mat, shoulder distance apart, your fingers spread wide, your feet hip distance apart, you're on your toes. Point your coccyx up to the sky. Your pelvis is rotated so that you can point your coccyx up to the sky, softening your knees to find the balance, left and right side balanced. Now roll your shoulders away from your ears and extend your spine. You're lengthening from the crown of your head to the coccyx. So you're creating space between each vertebra in the spine. You can walk your heels up and down into the mat. And as you relax into the pose, extend your heels flat onto the mat. It's okay if your feet are not flat. You can work toward that with your daily practice. Keep breathing from your navel. Spread the energy in your hands through all the fingertips and activate your palms of your hands. Roll your shoulders away from your ears. Spiral the energy through your arms and legs. Long, deep breathing. Let the breath circulate through your whole body. Stay within, stay connected. Perfect the pose, triangle pose. And hold. Stretch to your maximum. Squeeze root lock, the rectum, sex organ and navel. Circulate the energy throughout the pose, throughout the body. Balance. And as you exhale, bend your knees, come lying down on your mat. You're on your stomach now, preparing yourself for cobra pose, stretching your spine into cobra. So your legs are extended, your ankles are together, squeeze your butt, come onto your forearms, your elbows underneath your shoulders, your forearms and your palms flat on the mat for leverage. You're going to press into your forearms and awaken your spine as you inhale, lengthen up toward the sky through the crown of your head, shoulders rolling away from the ears, holding this pose with perfect balance with long, slow, deep breaths. Breathe through your nose, keep your eyes closed, go within, eyes rolled inward to focus at the third eye point for intuitive awareness. That is your pituitary gland and it awakens intuition. Your eyes are closed, it's a meditation. Perfect cobra pose, let the energy flow through the spine from the base all the way to the crown. This is an important posture for transformation, for activating your creative kundalini sexual energy and allowing it to rise up your spine to the higher centers, to the brain, for intuition, for higher consciousness, for wisdom and activation of your brain. Keep going within. To complete this exercise, take a deep breath in and hold the breath. Center yourself at your third eye point. Go within, focus, draw the energy up the spine, squeeze root block, rectum, sex organ and navel. Consolidate, let the energy rise. And then exhale, relax down. Let your face relax to one side as you close your eyes and let everything go. Let the exercise go now and stay within. Breathe through your nose. Enjoy the effects of the exercise. Moving into the next exercise, the yoga crunch. It's a abdominal curl. Interlace your fingers behind your head and neck and cradle your head back into your hands and relax your head. Do not have any pressure in your neck and shoulders. As you inhale, stay in the position. As you exhale, slowly curl and crunch your abs. Get into your deep muscles and lift yourself up, keeping your lower back flat on the mat. Inhale, go down. And then exhale, curl up. Slowly exhale as you curl up. Inhale back down. Continue this movement, the yoga crunch, curling the abs, deep abdominal workout. Get inside into your navel center, activate the solar plexus for commitment, determination and power. A strong center, your core strength gives you the power to transform yourself at will. To complete this exercise, 
relax down onto your back let it go let the hands float down beside your body let your arms relax beside you legs down take a deep breath in and then exhale stay focused at your third eye eyes closed coming into the next exercise stretch pose this is a strong exercise it's only for one minute so put your whole body your whole mind into this exercise give it determination give it commitment it's one of the best activations for your navel, for your center of power. So stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your fingers, stretch your toes. You're going to streamline the energy from your center. You're going to pivot from your shoulder blades and lift your head up and eyes will be open staring at your toes. Lift your feet up off the mat, stretch your fingers toward your toes, keep your lower back flat on the mat and do breath of fire. If you need to place your hands underneath your buttocks to keep your lower back flat, you can do that. Or you can have your heels touching the mat. Those are the modifications. Otherwise, strong navel, pump the navel, breath of fire. The breath of fire is an exhale through the nose as you pump your navel toward your spine. Pump your navel as you exhale. Keep going, strong breath. Focus, stretch your arms, stretch your fingers, stretch your toes. Hold the posture, perfect the posture. Eyes are open, pointing the toes. To complete this exercise, take a deep breath in, hold the breath, pull the root lock, stretch to your maximum, pull mulaband, squeeze the rectum, sex organ and navel, hold this, and then exhale, relax down, hug your knees into your chest. Relax your legs now. Place your hands underneath your buttocks, palms flat down, so that your lower back is flat on the mat. And begin to do alternate legs into the chest. It's a push and pull motion. Powerful stretch with the legs, alternate knee to the chest. Keep breathing powerfully. Use the breath, use the navel, the deep abdominal muscles are activating. Your core is engaged. You're switching on the third chakra. The element is fire for commitment, for transformation, for determination, for fearlessness, for courage. Do this exercise with your full power now. Strong abs, strong mind, switch it on. To complete this exercise, take a deep inhale and stretch, stretch the legs. And as you exhale, relax, hug your knees into your chest, relax. And soften, roll from side to side. Roll along your spine now, forward and back. And get ready to roll up and over onto your belly for bow pose. Stretch out onto your stomach. You're on your mat now with your chin on the mat. Reach back as you bend your knees, grab hold of your ankles with your hands, bow pose. This is a back bend. This will open your heart. Inhale and stretch up. Lift your knees up, use your hands, use your legs, use your abs, use your heart, flex your spine, shoulders back. Breathe long and slow and deep as you stretch your spine. The flexibility of this exercise will shift day by day as you do your practice. Keep breathing, keep stretching, stay connected to your third eye point with your eyes closed. It's a moving meditation, inhaling deeply, exhaling completely into your third eye. Stretch, this is a challenging posture. Squeeze all the muscles in your legs, squeeze your butt. Feel the power of your arms extending through your spine, opening up the crown of the head, lengthening your head up. Take a deep breath in, stretch to your maximum, perfect the pose, hold this inhale, perfect this pose, lift up. As you exhale, relax down onto your mat. Let it go, rest your face to one side and relax. Let everything go, just melt into your mat. Inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your nose, stay connected let everything go the integration happens here you're on the home stretch now 
Just three more exercises to do. Moving into your next exercise, baby pose with extended arms. Bend your knees and sit back onto your heels. Stretch your knees out to the side, to the edge of the mat, to open up your hips. Relax back. If you need to place a cushion between your heels and your buttocks, do so. Extend your arms forward, bring your forehead to the mat. Look inside, your eyes will be closed. All the energy that you've generated throughout your posture is now being focused at your head, at your third eye. So just breathe into that center. Open up that center of vision. What is your vision? See it, imagine it. Visualize your highest potential. Roll your shoulders away from your ears and keep extending through your fingertips, lengthening your spine from the crown all the way to the coccyx, creating space between each vertebra, releasing any stress, unwinding the spine. Every exercise helps you release stress, which gives you the power to go beyond fatigue, to be energized, to set your day up with an empowered state of mind, a balanced and neutral mind. Focus within, take a deep breath and hold this breath. Center yourself at your third eye. Feel that power of your focus now, of your vision. Exhale. On your inhale, slowly rise up. Come to sit in rock pose. Sit on your backs of your heels. And we'll get ready for camel pose. This is a challenging posture. There will be a modification. If you're a beginner, just do the modification. Inhale and stand up on your knees. Keep your big toes connected for balance. You're going to squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes. Feel the power of your foundation. Your knees are balanced left and right. That is your foundation. Your pelvis is balanced. Now place your hands on your lower back. And you're going to inhale and push your hips forward and arch your spine. Be gentle at the beginning. Arch your spine back slowly and carefully. If you are experienced, you may let go of your lower back and extend your hands down to grab hold of your heels. For the full extension of camel pose, you expand your whole body. Your back is arched and you're going to open your chest by rolling your shoulders away from your spine, extending your heart up to the sky, beaming that heart chakra, the energy of love. Keep your glutes switched on and your butt switched on. Keep your legs energized and your spine lengthened. Keep opening your navel center. Your breath is slow and deep through the navel center, through the spine. Keep your chin in. If you wish to extend your head back and open your throat with experience, this is okay. Be gentle on your neck. Keep your whole body energized. There is no floppiness. Your spine is elongated and all of the muscles in your back are supporting your spine and your lower back is protected by your navel. To come out of this pose in a safe and conscious way, you go step by step. First step, place your hands at your lower back, activate your navel, squeeze your glutes and your quads. Inhale and slowly rise up. Keep your chin in, your head is aligned and you're going to slowly come out of the pose, bend your knees and sit back onto your heels. Relax with your spine straight, place your hands onto your knees, let your energy balance just like that. Inhaling deeply, exhaling completely, on your next exhale, slowly fold forward into baby pose. Relax your arms beside your body. Let your forehead rest on your mat. All that energy that you've generated in your spine is flushing into your brain. You've circulated all that energy throughout your practice. You've just brought that energy through the heart, through the throat, and now you're sending it into the top of your head the higher centers of awareness, your intuitive power, your connection to the divine, to the universe. Feel the cosmic connection now as you breathe deeply and open up that third eye. Inhale deeply, exhale completely, 
Let go of all stress, all tension in your body now. Use your breath. As you exhale, let your body melt and relax. Stay in your center. Now inhale and slowly rise up. And then exhale and lie down onto your back for Shavasana. This is your final exercise. This is the most important exercise in the entire yoga set. This is where you integrate all the transformation, all the meridians, all the emotions that are flowing through the body and all that power that you've generated, the pranic power of your life force energy that you've activated. You're going to flood your whole body, every cell, every meridian with this energy and relax. Let it all relax, melting away any tension, any stress, any fear so that you can be in full empowerment right here in this present moment living your truth creating the vision of your empowered transformation of living in your center as a balanced divine human being with full purpose with full creativity with the connection to your infinite potential that is your purpose stay relaxed stay within just breathe let your whole body experience the transformation, the healing that you have just generated from this yoga set. Stay connected to your third eye, to your breath, slow, natural breaths. Your spirit has been given the gift of transformation. Let it celebrate now. Let it fly out into the universe. Let go of the physical body go beyond all body energies, all physical attachments. You can let it go because you are in your boundlessness. The boundlessness of your spirit is being realized. You have that connection. Stay with it. Waking up the body now, one step at a time. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Rotate your wrists and your ankles. Slowly and gently waking up the body, step by step. Stretch your arms up over your head. Take a long stretch from your fingertips to your toes. Breathe and then do cat stretch. Inhale your right knee up to your chest. Exhale and twist your knee across to the left side of the body. Stretch your arms to the sides. Come back to center. Inhale your left knee up to your chest and twist it across to the right side of the body. Twist your body, breathe deeply. And then inhale, come back to center. Bring your nose to your knees, hug your knees into your chest, rock and roll along your spine. Come up to a seated posture, sit comfortably, bring your hands into prayer eyes will be closed and center yourself at the third eye point in between the eyebrows take a deep breath in exhale focus on your vision on your intent for healing for centering for boundless energy and for transformation honor yourself and all that you are. Let's close our practice with one Satnam. Inhale. Satnam. Inhale. As you exhale, bring your forehead down, bowing down. Inhale up. Thank you for practicing. Have a beautiful day. If you enjoyed this class, there's loads more in yoga school and on Camilla TV. I hope that you enjoy all the videos, the yoga sets, the meditations, and also my online courses, the 10 day transformation and the yoga detox course. They are both incredible. There's also my book, Yoga Love, which is packed full of yoga sets and meditations for the heart. If you have any questions, 
I'm always here to answer them. You can find me at Camilla Yoga on Facebook or Camilla on Instagram.